Deciding on a cruise line can be seriously tricky, especially when you see reviews like this, this and this, but then also reviews like this, this and this. These reviews are for the exact same ship, the exact same cruise line and the exact same cruise. Deciding on a cruise line is the most important thing you'll decide on when you do book a cruise. The last thing you want is to wait for ages, to save up for your cruise, to plan everything, to get on board and be disappointed. I've cruised with MSC multiple times and with a lot of the big American and British cruise lines, which means I'm in a good position to compare MSC to all of the brands that you know and love. For years, MSC have divided opinion. They have harsh critics and loyal fans. I like cruising with MSC, but I wouldn't recommend them to everybody. From the moment you step on board an MSC cruise, you will know that this cruise is unlike any cruise that you've ever been on before. The ships themselves are very big, they're very sparkly. MSC have a lot of cruise ships and they have very ambitious shipbuilding plans. MSC are popping out cruise ships like it's nobody's business. And if you like big, new, exciting cruise ships, some of the newer MSC ships are definitely for you. The MSC cruise ships that they have in their fleet right now, the earliest one was built in 2001. And although those those ones don't have water slides, they don't have ropes courses, they're still very, very MSC. If you've cruised on one MSC cruise ship, you'll recognise the decor and the vibe across all of the fleet. If you're somebody who likes the big new Royal Caribbean ships, Norwegian cruise line ships, you may like some of the newer ships for MSC. They're not quite as big as the really big Royal Caribbean cruise ships, but a lot of them hold 6,000 passengers, which is pretty big. If you're somebody who prefers a more traditional vibe with a cruise ship, if you like P&O cruise ships, Cunard cruise ships, an MSC cruise might be quite different for you. It's very modern, very, very modern. It's not very traditional. Despite the size of some of the bigger MSC ships, to me, they've never felt crowded. I've always managed to find a place most of the time in the pub to sit down without too many people around. The ships are different with MSC and other cruise lines, but that isn't the thing that makes them so different from the other cruise lines. MSC are an Italian cruise line, and when you get on board, you will realize that everything on board reflects the fact that they are an Italian cruise line. The dress codes on MSC are much more casual than you'll find on the majority of other cruise ships. If you're used to cruising with Royal Caribbean or with Norwegian who don't have any dress codes, you'll be quite happy on an MSC cruise. If you're somebody who likes the formality of formal nights and dressing up, if you like cruising with Celebrity, Princess, P&O, maybe an MSC cruise would not be for you. I have sat in the main dining room on an MSC cruise on formal night and seen somebody with a tank top, we would call that a vest top here in the UK, and a baseball cap on formal night. I've never seen anybody do anything about that. It just seems to be okay. It's very, very casual, which I personally love. I don't think you have to dress up formally to go on a cruise and MSC does prove that. It's very, very chilled out. MSC do have various different formal nights, dress to impress nights, gala nights. And if you're somebody who does want to dress up on an MSC cruise, you won't look out of place. There are people there who wear their proper ball gowns and tuxedos and look fabulous. But if you're somebody who wants everybody else to partake in the dress code, MSC are maybe not for you. When it comes to the people that you'll find on an MSC cruise, the passengers do tend to be pretty young. You'll find a lot of families, you'll find teenagers, you'll find young family groups. I would say MSC has one of the youngest passenger demographics out of the whole cruise industry. If you're used to cruising with Cunard, P&O, Princess, one of those cruise lines, you may find it quite different on an MSC cruise. There are a lot of children, there's a lot of things for children to do on MSC cruises and for adults too. So you do have to be aware that the average age is just pretty young. I like that if it was very, very lively and exciting, but I know not everybody wants children everywhere when they are taking a cruise. If you're somebody who's used to cruising with Royal Caribbean or Norwegian, I would say it's pretty comparable, the same amount of children and probably the same-ish passenger demographic. One of the biggest ways that MSC is different from other cruise lines is the food. I personally really like the food on MSC cruises, but the food is where the cruise line does get a lot of criticism. I really think that most of that comes from people who expect something different from this cruise because they haven't done their research. You're watching this, you're doing your research, so hopefully you won't fall into that same trap. MSC are an Italian cruise line and the food is Mediterranean. You're gonna see a lot of pasta, a lot of pizza, a lot of vegetables, a lot of food that I think is really quite good for you. And the portion sizes are probably what we're actually supposed to eat. A few years ago, I did used to see a lot of complaints about MSC saying that the food portions were too small. And I think a lot of people have just got used to these huge portions on other cruise lines. And you're on a cruise. If you have eaten your main, you're still hungry, 
order another one, order a couple of desserts, go to the buffet and have a snack. There's unlimited food on a cruise. So I don't really think that that should be a problem. It's not for me anyway. MSC do have more American classics as they're called in the buffet. They do have hot dogs, they do have burgers. They do have a wide variety, I think, in an MSC buffet. But the things that they do really well are pasta and bread, cheesy pasta and yeah, you can't beat it. If you're somebody who likes bread and pasta and pizza, the pizza on an MSC cruise is available almost 24 hours a day. I think it's 23 or 22 hours per day in the buffet. So lovers of pizza, head over to MSC. Another area where MSC often get criticisms, which I don't think are fair, is in the service. A lot of people will say that MSC have bad service. I'm sure on some MSC ships, some members of crew are not great at service, but generally speaking, I've never found the service to be bad on an MSC cruise. It definitely is different. If you're used to cruising with Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, any of the big American cruise lines, the service is different on an MSC cruise. But I think that's more the difference between American service and what we expect over here in Europe. For me, I'm from Britain and we very much just want what we want. I just want the waiter to bring me my food and to take my plates away. I don't really want all of this. How was your day? Where did you go? I don't mind. I'll partake in small talk, but it's not expected in the same way as if you go to Johnny Rockets on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship, you're really going to be entertained by the waiting staff. And you just don't really get that on an MSC cruise, but that suits me more than fine. I prefer that. If you're more introverted, MSC is very good for that. Another good thing about the smaller portion sizes is that less food should get thrown in the bin. This week's Britishism of the week is the word bin. I didn't even realize really that that was a British thing when I said it. I thought that other people would know what a, a bin was, but I had so many comments asking me what do I mean by bin? So this week's Britishism is bin. A bin is a trash can. We have the kitchen bin, the downstairs bin, the outside bin, the wheelie bin. A bin with wheels is a wheelie bin. That's just what they are. Put it in the bin. One thing that keeps me going back to MSC over and over again is the price. The price of an MSC cruise could be half of what it is to cruise with Royal Caribbean. They do great offers for families and kids. And I really don't see how you can go wrong for the price that you pay with MSC. It is different from a Royal Caribbean cruise. There's no denying that. But when you've paid half the amount, it's definitely not half as good. It's more than that. I don't want this to sound like I am advertising MSC. I don't love everything about MSC. One thing that's very different between MSC and British and American cruise lines is the entertainment. On most MSC cruises, multiple languages will be spoken. So all of the announcements will be done in six or seven languages. And because of that, it makes it difficult for the entertainment team to do the type of entertainment that you would see on a British or an American cruise line. Again, I know so many people who love the entertainment on MSC, but I just don't get it. I just don't get it. One thing I will say though, is I did see Cirque du Soleil on an MSC cruise and that was fantastic. But as far as the main theater entertainment goes, I just don't understand it. They try and do things that are very interpretive to avoid the use of language. Whereas I prefer kind of a more, just a musical or something like that. Just something with a story rather than, I don't, I don't know. I'll let, I don't know. As far as the onboard schedule on an MSC cruise goes, it can be pretty busy. It isn't as busy as a Royal Caribbean or a Norwegian cruise, but it is a lot busier than a P&O cruise. I would put them in the middle section there. You're definitely not gonna be bored on an MSC cruise. And when you look at the daily schedule at any point, you're gonna find things that you can do. But also if you don't wanna do all of that stuff, that's completely fine. You can sit by the pool, the inside pool, the back pool, MSC have a lot of swimming pools and you can just chill out or you'll find me in the pub most of the time. There is one area where I think MSC are far ahead of almost all cruise lines and that is the onboard technology. MSC have a technology called the MSC for me wristband, which allows them to track and trace all of their passengers. They have a really good app too, and you can do pretty much anything you would ever want to do on your phone. It is similar to the technology from Princess. I think Princess's Ocean Medallion goes a little bit further than MSC's, but MSC are still in second place with every other cruise line lagging behind. Royal Caribbean are moving into this space with some trackable technology, as are most of the other cruise lines, but MSC, they're just doing a pretty good job of this. If you're a family or a young person who wants a cheap, light-hearted, fun getaway break, I think MSC are really good for that. 
If you're somebody who prefers a more kind of traditional type of cruising, then MSC might not be for you. I have cruised with MSC before and in this video we will go together on an MSC cruise. Come with me as we board the MSC Meraviglia, one of my favourite cruise ships. <laughs> 